Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1932 florin, or two shilling coin. The coin you see on screen now. Firstly I'll talk about the design of the coin, and then move on to the facts and figures. So here is the reverse design, and is the work of engraver George Kruger Gray. We see here four shields around the central G. The shields have two of them, have the three lions of England. To the bottom left is the harp of Ireland, and to the top right is the lion rampart of Scotland. And then running through and between each of the shields are four crowned scepters. All identical, we have the crown above the scepter, the crown reaches to the edge of the coin, and the scepter all joins up in the middle within the central G for King George. The top has the Latin legend, which reads Fideth in Imp, translating to Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India, again referring to King George V. And then the bottom has the date and the denomination, 1932, the year it was made, and the denomination of one florin, the value of the coin in circulation. Now then, moving on to the obverse of the coin, we can see here a portrait of King George V. He is facing left and uncrowned on this coin. This is the only portrait of King George V used on British coins. Around him is the legend of the coin, in abbreviated Latin once again, reading Georgivus V. Digra Brit Om Rex. This then translates to English as George V, by the grace of God, King of all the Britons. His titles as monarch. Around the legend draw these little teeth, beads or milling, and these are all there to prevent the coin from being clipped and metal content being stolen from the coin illegally. And for the same reason, the edge of the coin, the rim, has been reeded or milled as well to prevent the coin from being shaved on the edges or both sides when you look at the coin, it can be easy to tell. So then, there's the design on both sides. Now let's move on to the facts and figures of this coin, the 1932 florin. This coin was minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. The coin is composed of 50% silver and 50% manganese, alloyed together. After 1920, all the silver coins were debased from sterling silver, 925, down to 50% silver, 0.500 silver, to make it cheaper to make and cheaper to produce. Despite the change of metal, the weight is always unchanged of these florins at 11.3 grams ever since 1851. The diameter is 28 millimeters and also is unchanged since 1851, a constantly sized coin throughout the decades. The mintage of the 1932 florin is 717,041, a very, very rare year of florin. In fact, the eighth rarest florin ever made in the whole history of the florin coin. The florin coin is a 24 pence piece. This is then a two shilling coin, or one tenth of a pound sterling, under the old predecimal money system. And back in 1932, one florin was equal to eight pound 93 today. So not a million miles off having a 10 pound note today, or a florin back then, Similar buying powers, a similar value within circulation and within change. The coin was demonetized in 1992 after serving as a 10 pence for a little while after decimalization had occurred. Now then, after all these years and counting in the rarity of this coin, what is it worth to a collector? Well, even in poor condition it will sell for around 20 pounds, fine condition, 50 pounds, extremely fine condition, 500 pounds, and 1,275 pounds in uncirculated grade with no wear, marks, or damage on the coin. So a very, very valuable coin. So keep an eye out for this date within old 50% shillings and florins. As most dates sell for just bullion value, but this one will of course hold a premium above that. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon for more coins of bits and bobs in the future. Bye.